And now, your first alert weather. A hot and dry conditions are going to continue into this afternoon, afternoon, which means more hazy conditions are expected to amplify with more smoke moving into salmon, which is under an air quality alert until 3 p.m. this afternoon. Right now, though, 49 degrees. It's nice and calm out, nice and cool out, too, which means not as much smoke is filtering into the region thanks to uh, a little bit cooler temperatures outside. Live look at the Viper radar. You see, do see how clear it is outside, not only in our local neighborhoods, but um, across most of the northwest. We're pretty clear outside overall. Do have a high pressure down in Colorado, which is trying to ride up some moisture and some monsoonal flow, but it's only getting as far north into Utah and Nevada. It's not really getting into our region because we got northerly flow really pushing down, pushing that uh, monsoonal flow down and. That monsoon flow is only able to get into Utah and Nevada. And we'll see that happen and continue to happen over the next few days. We'll have a look at the Vipercast. You won't see too much happening over the next few days with that northerly flow continuing to rock into the region, that high pressure system continuing to dominate all the way up into Wednesday around noontime. We're still sticking with those. We, got, we have some rounds, uh, rounds of clouds moving on through, but nothing that's going to look to produce any precipitation until later this week. We'll get a little bit of a change to where we do get a little bit of onshore flow from the Pacific Ocean. And then Thursday, we'll look for some rain showers, especially in the afternoon hours throughout much of the region, which is very optimistic to happen, which will be great. And this could even continue into Friday, too. As you see, the winds bringing moisture straight from the Pacific Ocean straight into eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. As for the winds, we said there's no red flag warnings today thanks to the lack of winds. That's going to continue to roll into Tuesday and Wednesday, which is great news. Thursday and Friday, the winds do pick up, but that's when the rain chances pick up, too, which will help to fight against those fires. But we do have a couple days of dry weather still to get through, and that includes today, which means hazy conditions expected all throughout central Idaho. Some of that can get into the upper snake, too, today. But overall, besides the hazy skies, we'll be sticking with the sunshine, which will help ramp up those temperatures into the upper 80s and lower 90s by the afternoon. 92 today in Salmon, 87 today in Idaho Falls. Here's a look at those eight-day forecasts. In Blackfoot, 88 degrees today. Sunny conditions. Dry over the next three days, and then the rain chances come on Thursday with windy conditions and a high of 94 degrees. In Rexburg, 90 degrees. We're up to 95 for Wednesday with mostly sunny skies on that day. And then isolated rain showers for both Thursday and Friday with a high of 93 on both days. In Salmon, hazy skies continue. Those highs are going to work their way up all the way to 96 on Wednesday. Rain chances there don't come until Friday with a 40% chance of rain on that day. In Jackson, 85 degrees. Highs stay overall in the mid-80s throughout the week. Lows in the mid-40s. Let's have those rain chances not only Thursday and Friday, but also looking into next weekend, too, on Saturday and Sunday. In Pocatello, hazy skies today, 91 degrees. Some of those hazy skies can continue into Tuesday and Wednesday, too, uh, with some of those dry conditions also working their way into Tuesday and Wednesday. Windy conditions on Thursday and Friday come with a little bit of some rain showers, too. 20% chance of rain on Thursday with a high of 96 degrees. Lastly, Idaho Falls, 88 degrees today, sunny outside and it will lead to a high of 92 on Wednesday. Slight warm up into those rain showers coming on Thursday. 40% chance of rain. We're hopefully optimistic that that will become a lot greater once we get closer to the day. And then even by Friday and Sunday, we could even have more rain coming after that. Send it back over to Dylan and Emma. All right. Thank you, Evan, for some